Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. We've seen some interesting weather in 2021 in the UK and another one to potentially add to the list is how mild the year will end. We'll also see further spells of wind and rain during the next few days, but into the start of next week a downward temperature trend is expected and it's likely to be briefly colder. But for the time being it's all about the mild weather and that mild weather arrives during the rest of Wednesday as a spell of rain crosses the country from the southwest to the northeast. That rain clearing Scotland overnight and it's at this stage that the mild air becomes established countrywide. Along with those mild southwesterlies we'll also see further weather fronts so further cloud and rain at times overnight especially over western parts and some heavy showers about in the north first thing but in the north it will be a big contrast compared to recent mornings, much milder, but the actual temperatures will be even higher in the south, 12 or 13 Celsius across some southern areas first thing on Thursday. Now the showers in the north tend to ease through the day and it turns drier and brighter, some sunny spells for eastern Scotland, northeast England, cloudier elsewhere, a lot of low cloud further south and further damp weather and more persistent rain arriving into southwest England and Wales by the afternoon. But whether you've got the cloud and rain or the brighter spells, it will be mild. Temperatures in the teens fairly widely, 15 or even 16 Celsius is possible in northeast Wales or southwest England. And then into uh, New Year's Day, or New Year's Eve I should say, it'll be another very mild start to the day. It looks like it'll be drier and brighter in the south and also for northern Scotland, but in between an area of rain sits and for central and southern Scotland, it could be very wet indeed with the risk of standing water giving some tricky driving conditions. It will also be windy on the southern flank of that rain across the Pennines in particular, some very blustery weather, but it will be mild. New Year's Eve temperature record itself sits at 14.8 Celsius and it's possible we'll get 15 Celsius somewhere like southeast England so it could end up being the warmest New Year's Eve on record. Now the rain in the north tends to ease later and it'll be drier for a time on New Year's Eve evening in many places. It'll also be a little less windy for a time but to the west another area of low pressure starts to move in and that will pick up the winds once more in the west by midnight and it will thicken up the cloud with some rain arriving particularly over western hills. But that wind is still coming from the southwest so uh, even as the clock strikes midnight and we go from 2021 20, to 2022 temperatures fairly widely in the double figures. And for the start of New Year's Day a weather front crosses the country from the west so that will provide a lot of cloud and areas of rain. The more persistent wet weather will be across Scotland and it will stay damp over western hills through much of the day. A little drier in the east ahead of the rain for a time and it does brighten up further west as the rain clears, although showers will move in here and it will be mild once again, so potential for the warmest New Year's Day on record. By the time we get to the 2nd of January, it looks like uh, change is on the way. Initially mild air with the jet stream to the north of the UK, but that jet stream begins to dip to the south. Initially that will allow some fairly blustery showers to arrive on Sunday. Those showers will be heavy at times, particularly in the west, with some gusty winds and there's a possibility of a more organised area of rain to affect southern parts of the country along with some stronger winds. But another thing is evident on Sunday and into the start of next week and that's the downward temperature trend. As the jet stream dives to the south of the UK we're going to see colder northerly winds arrive and through the course of Monday they'll push south and that means that an area of rain across Scotland on Monday could end up turning to sleet and snow in some places later in the day. That weather front crosses the country on Monday night and by Tuesday all areas are in the colder northerly airflow that would allow uh, some wintry showers to arrive across uh, particularly northeastern parts of the country but also some drier and brighter weather in between. And the temperature trend is quite clear looking at these two meteograms, Edinburgh at the top, London on the bottom. And the red boxes show the daily maximum temperatures and the trend there goes out to the next two weeks. Now you can see those red boxes are well above, for both graphs, well above the thicker red line which is the average for the time of year. Over the next few days those boxes stay above the average red line. They're quite small boxes and given that the likely temperature will be 
within the box, that means that we have fairly high confidence that it will be above average over the next few days. You can then see that temperature trend, the downward trend through Sunday and into Monday for both Edinburgh and London. But you can also see by the middle of next week, the boxes become much larger. And because the likely temperature is going to be somewhere in that box, it means that we're uncertain about how mild or cold it will be around the middle of next week. And that's because milder air is trying to arrive by this stage from the west, but there are some uncertainties about the timing of the arrival of that milder air. Either way, you can see the temperature trend for later next week starts to rise and the boxes get smaller, so it's more likely that those temperatures will begin to return to average. And also later next week, it's likely that we'll see this sort of weather pattern. Westerlies, typical changeable weather in the UK, spells of rain and wind, showers, but also some brighter spells and temperatures going back to around average. In between, as we switch from those colder northerlies to the more changeable westerlies, there could be some snow on any weather front that comes in from the west, particularly over higher ground in the north. But it looks likely that any colder spell at the start of next week will last only around 24 to 48 hours, and we're not overly concerned about the impacts from any wintry hazards at this stage. Stay tuned, however, and we'll keep you up to date as we get closer to next week. And uh, of course, you can follow all those updates on social media. But for now, I wish you a very happy new year.